hello everyone my name is anil sharma varghese 21 mpsl 09 uh, so the topic that i chose for today is cricket um, so going to the introduction so cricket is believed to have begun possibly as early as the 13th century as a game in which country boys ball at the at a tree stump or the hurdle gate into a sheep pen so cricket is actually a uh, england's national summer sport which is now played throughout the world particularly in australia india pakistan west indies and the british isles so in india we know how much of a hype uh, you know cricket uh, the game cricket has so cricket involves two teams with 11 players on each side so the captain who wins the toss decides whether his team bats or bowls first so if they bat first the aim is to score a lot of runs and make sure that the other team doesn't reach that score so there are different flavors of cricket like different forms of cricket so there are mainly three forms um so the very first one is test cricket which is the all with all this form of cricket and then comes one day cricket that is like one day international odi and then comes t20 that is 2020 cricket which is a shortest form of cricket and then when we explain on the test cricket it is despite the fact that cricket has become a very fast game over the past few years test cricket it remains there in its original form with its charm and charisma so test cricket is the oldest and the longest form of cricket that has a rich history that extends to more than like 100 years so the test cricket it uh, extends to for about like 5 days so the match it remains for like 5 days as such and then comes one day international that is odis which is proved to be the start of a completely new era of cricket which was very fast more entertaining and full of thrill so despite the rising popularity of t20 cricket uh, it is still considered to be one of the most popular form of cricket and is enjoyed by all forms because it isn't too long no no is it like too short so yeah and there's about 50 overs that is played by both the both the teams and then when it comes to t20 cricket that's actually 2020 cricket which is like uh, 20 overs that is um, played by one team and 20 overs by another team and it is the most shortest fastest and arguably the most popular form of cricket and it is the youngest inclusion in the international cricket arena and in a short period of time it has gained huge popularity among cricketing fans especially the younger ones so the t20 cricket is taking cricket to a new commercial level and no doubt that this form of cricket has provoked the interest of many people who are unaware of the game prior to t20 so criticism has been made by a lot of experts as well as fans about the involvement of too much money and more than required pace into the game due to t20 so however the fact remains that with every passing day the popularity graph of t20 has been rising rapidly so t20 like something that is very familiar to us one form that is very familiar to us is ipl uh, indian premier league which we have been seeing over past like since 2007 or 8 like every year it happens and the amount of, the amount of fan base that it has is huge and from uh it's tremendous and comes to the key players there are three functions of players like um, batsmen bowlers and the fielding team so batsmen are one who scores the runs of runs of the balls balled by the bowler and the bowler is the one who bowls and tries to get the batsman out which is dismissed from the ground and then the fielder is a um, other players excluding excluding the bowler who assists the bowler in achieving his goal so it's prevent it prevents the batsman from scoring runs when it comes to the physical benefits um, we can start from stamina um so cricket involves uh, sprinting in between the wickets running down your bowling line to bowl your next delivery or sp- simply chasing the ball to you know save crucial runs so the constant running on the field helps increase the stamina and um, the next one is endurance whether it's a fun game or an organized t20 50 over or a five day test match every game of cricket has a long playing session so the perked up stamina helps one to remain active and uh, or like long cricketing sessions which builds a bo- body's endurance to withstand wear and tear so then comes the balance so the game requires a highest level of concentration which enhances the balance and stability for the individual so for playing cricket both physical and mental balance of the body comes into play so in fact balance is the core of any athletic ability because it controls all the other body movements the fourth one comes the hand eye coordination um so among the many other advantages of playing cricket 
coordinate a hand and eye movement is most important the bowler releases the ball batsman plays a shot and the fielder runs through to um, to grab the ball so every action in the game requires at most synchronization between the eyes and hands and therefore helping in the overall development and the balance of the body and then comes the burning calories uh, which is the fifth one so cricket is a perfect full body workout so it helps to shed the extra um, kilos by burning calor- calories faster then comes the uh, muscle building from striking pitching running to throwing and catching every action in the game entails a different set of muscles everything includes like different parts of the body so this helps in the overall muscle development development or like muscle building and gives the body its perfect shape undoubtedly it is one of the one of the good exercises that help gain and tone body muscles the seventh one is a flexibility so identical to the shape of the cricket field the health benefits of playing cricket also extends like 360 degrees the player is required to move around with great um, flexibility to remain ahead of the game uh, to remain ahead in the game so also with increased flexibility the muscle mass length increases which prevents injuries due to over stretching of muscles the eighth one is a heart heart health unlike other extreme physical activity games that increases the heart rate manifold cricket involves evenly distanced uh, distance peaks so the short duration of peak followed by a uh, small re- uh, recovering time is good for the heart health like you have enough time to relax over there so also the periodic spike in the heart rate is a good exercise for the heart as it prevents the blocking of arteries and uh, blood vessels and then comes the motor skills uh, so playing cricket is the perfect exercise to improve um, motor skills while gross motor skills are out of key importance fine motor skills play an equally equally important role to put the large body muscles to work the 10th advantage or the 10th physical um, benefit is that it is a, it helps the metabolism so as mentioned before playing cricket means the entire body is in a workout state so this supports a breakdown of fats and the energy so release is to sustain the body's activities this improves the metabolism and puts a healthy check on weight gain and now moving on to the psychological benefits of playing cricket the very first one is the concentration so the game of cricket is all about making quick decisions with great precision so this requires concentration and polished judgment skills so this sharpens the mind and builds the analytical skills of the brain and then comes team skills as you, as we all know that cricket is all about playing together as a team and so playing cricket is all about teamwork and coordination so with 11 players on either side good and healthy teamwork is important to develop strategies execute them to perfection and win matches for your team therefore one of the most important psychological benefits of playing cricket lies in the fact that it is a team game <clears throat> now coming to the social skills interacting and communicating not just with uh, team members but also with the competitors help you to learn social skills so also while you win some games and lose some it gives you the strength to cope with different life situations and challenges more effectively and then comes the mental state so playing cricket benefits a person's mental state because it improves focus and attention span greatly these traits help the brain to remain active and agile so why which in turn boosts positivity and well-being then comes a cathartic release so playing cricket is less harmful way to display you know high intensity emotions so bowling the perfect delivery to get the batsman out striking the ball hard to let it sail out for a six running or diving to catch your rival out can be great ways to de-stress and release negative energies so when we come to the conclusion we can see that whether you choose to play cricket for fun or for the competition it is a perfect exercise to help you achieve your overall fitness goal so monitor body weight a perfectly toned body enhanced stamina great hand eye coordination or strong in control sorry strong and in control mental abilities the benefits of playing cricket are way too many so it's important to start or uh, slow or under professional guidance as cricket as cricket players are prone to physical and muscular injuries and frequent muscle uh, cramping so adequate nutrition with a protein rich diet helps the body sustain the long play sessions and thereby helping you to reap the health benefits of um, playing cricket so that's it um thank you for watching the video thank you